Hello, everyone. So in this video, I'm going to cover a concept that I think it's not frequently known by many test takers, and it's definitely worth knowing if you're taking any of the upcoming SAT exams. So per usual, let's jump in and take a look at what I'm talking about. And it's these questions, which are testing the remainder theorem. So this says the function f is defined by a polynomial where f of 0 is equal to 3. Which of the following must be true about f of x? And then it has a bunch of choices that talk about the remainder. So if you don't know what the remainder theorem is, you should stay tuned. Don't fast forward and listen to me explain it. <laughs> but basically, the remainder theorem is that whenever we have a polynomial f of x and it's divided by um, whatever x minus a is what the theorem says, the remainder is f of a. And you might be thinking, hey, that makes no sense. Well, let me give some examples to make it make more sense. So for example, if I have like x minus 2, then the remainder, remainder, oops, didn't spell that right. The remainder is going to be um, f of 2. If I just have x, that's just going to be 0. And if I have x plus 3, that's going to be f of negative 3. So that's pretty straightforward and simple, right? Um, but let me even put it more into perspective, unrelated to this problem, just going over the remainder theorem. That let's say I have a function like f of x is equal to x squared plus 1, and it's like, uh, it tells me that it's divided by x minus 2, and I want to know what the remainder will be. Well, I just said that x minus 2, that would be the same as plugging in f of 2. So what I would do is put in f of 2 here, I put 2 squared plus 1, and that will give me an output of 5. So this means that when x squared plus 1, the function is divided by x minus 2, the remainder is going to be 5. Okay? I hope that makes sense, and it's amazing, because if you know that, then it makes this problem really easy to solve. So back here, so I have it's f of 0 is equal to so to translate each of the answer choices, um, this would just be x plus 3 would be the same as f of negative 3 equal to 0. x minus 3 would be f of 3 equals 0. Not what I'm looking for. Um, f of x is divided by x is negative 3. Again, this is just going to give me that f of 0 is negative 3. And then finally, the last choice would be when f of x is divided by x, so f of 0 is equal to 3. And we can see that that directly matches what I have up in the answer choice. So therefore, d must be true. Isn't that amazing? And just so you see, again, what this is saying is that when, um, so f of 0, it's the remainder when f of x is divided by 3. OK, let's take a little bit more in-depth look. OK, so here we have the polynomial function v. Uh, we have v of 2 equals 3, and v of 0 is equal to negative 13. The graph of y equals v of x, and the xy plane passes through the points negative 2, 7, and 6, 0, which the following must be true. Okay, so here I'd be like, okay, so I have v of 2, that equals 3. That's given to us in the problem. v of 0 is equal to negative 13. And just to put the other coordinates given to us, v of 2 is equal to positive 7, and v of Six is equal to zero. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do and what I explained previously about the remainder theorem is that I want to mm, 
plug in to the function. So what this is saying, like when, for example, option A, when V of X is divided by X plus 13, the remainder is zero. So what I would do is plug in negative 13. And then whatever that is, that will give me the output, which is the remainder. But in this case, I don't know what the value of V of negative 13 is. So I don't know what the remainder would be. Don't know. So I can't know if the remainder is zero or not. Not enough information provided here. So I have it's divided by X plus seven. So what I would do if I were to place it in the function is plug in negative seven. And that negative seven will give me the output or the remainder. But I also don't know what negative seven is. So we can discard that. C, when the of x is divided by x plus two, the remainder is three. So here, if I have the function, I would plug in negative two. Oh, but here I do have that negative two has an output of seven. The output is seven, but this is also telling me that the remainder would be seven. And here it says the remainder is seven, or sorry, it is three, and it should be seven. So that can't be true. So by POE, cross elimination must be D. Well, let me show you why. So same here, if it's divided by X minus six, what I do is that I'm going to plug in positive six, and then V of six should give me a remainder of zero. And this would be the remainder. And Awareness, looking at our answer choices and what I wrote here, that does match. So to reiterate the remainder theorem, um, whenever you have a coordinate, so in this case, like technically it's like f of a, f of a, but the remainder will be the f of a, aka like the y value or the output. So the y value is the remainder, but it's only when we're dividing by a binomial like x minus a. But all of these cases were being divided by a binomial x minus a. Okay, so just to show these previous two problems um, have come up, very similar problems on the SAT, and it's worth to know them so that you can get them correct. Hmm. So let's take a look at this one. The function f is defined by a polynomial. Some of the values of x and f of x are shown in the table. So we can see values. So I have like, I have x is 3, 0, 3. And then we have 2 and 1. And then we have 4 and 0 and 5 and negative 2. Okay, so here, what is tr what should the following statement be true of the remainder when f of x is divided by a binomial? So remember, when we're divided by a binomial, which is all the ones that we've been previously seeing, and the only ones that are tested on SAT, um, it's going to give me the y output. So this is that x minus 2 is like when I plug in x equals two, the output should be y equals one, and this would be the remainder. Do I have a match of two, one? Leonis, yes. So I already have the answer. But just to show, this would be that when x equals four, the remainder is four, so that it would be a four, four. That one is not a match, right? It's four, it should be zero. Here, f of x is divided by x is zero. So basically like when x is equal to zero, it gives me zero. Also, no, it should be three. And here when x minus five, so when I put x equals five, it should give me output of two or five, two. For this to be correct, it would be negative two. And therefore, the only one that's viable is option A. Okay. So I hope you have the remainder theorem down. It 
does come up, it could make the difference between a 790 or 800 score if you know this amazing trick in theory. Okay, so like, rate, subscribe. If you liked the video, share with your friends, tell everyone about me, because the more people we help, the more better the world can be. Okay, thanks guys for watching and for being amazing supporters. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.